Hello the señoritos y señoritas. In this video, let's talk about shooties and in particular combat dudes. Today, I'm not going to hurt your brain with numbers. Ah, uh, maybe yes. Well, some perks are quite must have, like scatter shot, for example. Reload faster is always nice, but I'm not sure about shotgunner combo. We're gonna see. Skid Shooter, uh, your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. We gonna test this. Under Agility we have Enforcer, here it is. Frankly, rank 1 is enough, no test needed. It works with every single projectile, not full load. So you're gonna cripple limbs quite often. Um, what else do we have? Mm, bloody mess. Maybe useful. Aha, but the criticals, yes. Because we're gonna go as fast crit. Uh, of course, we're gonna use a couple of multipliers. Follow through is right here. And as well, I have tenderizer. Yay! It is the best buff for me and Maxine. Though today, I don't offer you to go super hard with buffs. What else do we have? Mmm, Exterminator! I have rank 1 for now and I have more damage to Glovis. Here it is. Which is actually working pretty good and we're gonna see that as well. My weapon of choice is Anti-Armor Explosive Combat Shotty. It is one of the best shotties of the game cause it has high base damage, uh, suppressor, calibrated receiver and perforated mag. In total we have 90% armor penetration, which is enough to feel comfy almost everywhere. Stoves gameplay plus fast crits will make you quite OP. Downside is a range that affects fast probability and damage. I explained how exactly in these videos. Check them out, because you have eyes. Uh, explosive legendary mod is dangerous for us, but actually makes our gameplay more interesting. Yeps. Let's try crit and he's dead. Uh, kiss the keys. Puppy Hulk, I'm coming. Puppy Hulk can lose half of his hit points just like that. Sadly and obviously crits can be still bugged. But who cares in Bethesda Games Studios? Yokizdokis, ladies and gents, let's start with Glow Side Perk. I hope you are ready. Let's start. So, description damage is 17 multiplied by 8. Here we have base damage 11 and 50% more damage because of Adreno reaction. Nothing else. By the way, now mobs respawn more frequently, and this is great. Another great thing is damage, and ideal 13 multiplied by 8. So, let me explain how I got this number. I need your damage resistance, it would be 156. Once again, 13 damage. Okay, let me explain. So, we use description damage as just one number. We do not calculate damage for each projectile separately. Glow Insight is a multiplier that goes after damage coef. So it affects description damage or in this case base number and adreno reaction buff. Speaking of sneak bonus, well Glow Insight actually doesn't affect it. And in case of follow through, we have an external multiplier that affects everything. And as I mentioned earlier, Enforcer works just fine at rank 1. So there is no need to spend perk points. Crippling overall has no point in Fallout 76. Crit damage is a little bit tricky because calculated numbers are not the same what I got in the game. But in fact, base damage is not 11 multiplied by 8 or 88 for sure. The base damage is 90. We can say it's 90 as well. In this case, I get perfect match. But let's leave it this way. And now about skid shooter. This perk doesn't affect what's gameplay. Maybe it is obvious, but I decided to mention it as well, since anyways this video is about shooties. If no skid shooter you hit with two free projectiles. 
let's try to equip it yukis dokis and uh, well five six something like this let's talk about reload speed when we already have speed demon mutation so the actual gain is about half of second which is nice but maybe not worth free strength points I would I go really with blocking instead. Right and now. I made a video about why it is a must have. Now about range. As I mentioned earlier, this is the biggest issue with shotties. Low range screws what's probability and damage overall. I explained everything you should know about this mechanic itself in these videos. Check the description if you want to know more. Lucky us, Bethesda is still being Bethesda and even with shorties we can damage our foes at crazy distance. The absolute maximum, the absolute furthest distance possible to deal damage from is 500 feet. But today I got around 478 feet. But uh, an error could be made in my measurement, so just take this number as uh, could be from very very far away. The minimal distance to deal the maximum damage is around 37-38 feet. Visually you can more or less understand how far you can be from your target. And uh, what's probability would be Saki Saki, so maybe concentrated fire should be rank 3, not 1. We're gonna test it out soon, cause uh, right now I have no idea. Let me repair my shooting target real quick. Yay! Ok, so from 39 feet up to 54, your damage will gradually go down. From 54 up to almost 500, you still can deal minimum damage, it would be like 2. Has 3 because I was closer than 54 feet and now look, now 2 damage. But in case if your weapon has explosive legendary mode, you deal additional damage with explosions and the absolute minimum would be 2 plus 1 or 3. Here you can see that concentrated fire rank 3 increases watts accuracy by 20% per shot, while rank 1 only by 10%, so go with rank 3. Obviously you still can kill stuff without watts, so it's not like end of the world, but Critical damage can be dealt only via auto aim, so if you are a bad player in shooters, here you can be a legend. If you go with anti armor, there is no actual need for exterminator. In general, if your damage is 6.67 times bigger than damage resistance of your enemy, there will be only 1% of damage reduction. Can be lower. And mummy crab should be bats in the head or legs, obviously. Yoki Zukis, so here's my final perk cloud out. I have Ordnance Express because of so many grenades, damn. Blocker is a must have, then we have combo of shotgunner, concentrated fire, ring free, glow sight, it is a multiplayer, grenadier is a must have, green thumb because I'm a vegan skid shooter, I would say it is a must have for shotgunners. Can find, of course, why not? Fireproof, we need it. Ready cool is always cool. Strange numbers, well, normally I play in teams. Tenderizer is a damage multiplier. The best for min maxing. Nerd Rage, obviously, demo expert, of course. Gunsmith, yeah. Guns break 50% slower. <laughs> for me, it is a must have. Through Hiker, yaps. Covered operative, enforcer, sneak, well this too, because yeah, sneak bonus. Enforcer just rank 1 is enough. Escape artist, gun fu is working, why not? And uh, adrenaline rank 3. Here we have bloody mess, better criticals, serendipity. What else? Curator starched jeans and critical savvy. What's crit build? And follow through is another damage multiplier. Yeah, and specials, legendary specials. I have luck 35, that means every second shot critical. My, my mutations. Adrenal reaction, more damage, burn bones is a must have I would say. 
because of reduced fall speed and plus agility, agility. Eagle eyes, more crit damage and plus perception. Egghead, uh, I would say nope. Okay, later I will remove it. Herbie is a must have. Her mentality, obviously, marsupial, obviously, and speed demon. Plus reload speed and movement speed. Yeah. And, uh, well, armor, of course, unyielding. Here we have shielded bolt, 94 jumpsuit, with two additional luck. Yeah, and basically, um, that's all. We can try something. Yokis, yokis, let's see how I perform here. Hello, Senorito Mini. Out here. Um, that. Are you sure? Okay. Ciao, ciao. Anyone else? I need a uh, level 100 guy. No green, stuff no green stuff here. 75, not interested. Oh, here it is. Dead. No, you're level 60. He's already waiting. Papi! Come here! Hey, you! Turn around! Come on, dude! Oh! He is coming! Okay, ready, steady, go! No, free, free shots. Anyways. But, uh, what can I say? Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Basically, that's all for today. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, bye, bye. Bye-bye.